Hi friends. Welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, we will learn how to read and prepare before starting the fabrication of a piping isometric drawing. Please view this drawing's 3D model. This will make it easier for you to understand the drawing. Let us go to the notes. I will read the important notes for you. All dimensions are in millimeter, unless otherwise specified. All fasteners to be hot dip galvanized. All vents and drains to be site welded. Wherever field welds are indicated. An extra length of 150 mm has been included on the pipe cut piece. This note is the most important of all. Bill of materials. Mark number 1. Size 8 inch. Pipe, bevel end, schedule 20. ASTM A grade B, seamless. The quantity is 36.8 meters. Mark number 2. 8 inch by 8 inch equal T. Bevel end. Schedule 20. Quantity, 1 number. Mark number 3. 8 inch 45 degree elbow. Long radius. Bevel end. Schedule 20. Quantity, 2 numbers. Mark number 4. 8 inch 90 degree elbow. Long radius. Bevel end. Schedule 20. Quantity, 3 numbers. Mark number 5. 8 inch flange. Weld neck. Raise face 150 pound, smooth finish. Schedule 20. Quantity, 1 number. Mark number 6. 8 inch gasket. 150 pound. 4.5 mm thick. Spiral wound gasket. Compressed non asbestos filled. Quantity, 1 number. Mark number 7. 3 4 inch stud bolts. Length is 108 mm. Nuts and washers 2 each for a set. Quantity, one set of eight numbers. Mark number eight. Blind flange. Raise face. 150 pound. Smooth finish. Quantity, one number. I have given the important descriptions. Before starting the fabrication, you must ensure that the descriptions given on the fittings match with the description given in the drawing. What is FFW? FFW means field fit up weld. This fit up will be done during the erection. This X symbol indicates the field welding. During the fabrication, you need to add 150 millimeters extra to the cut length of the pipe. Assume that the actual cut length of the pipe is 1000 millimeters, but you will cut a 1150 millimeters long pipe. This extra length is for field variations and adjustments. We had initially read this instruction in the beginning. See the pipe slope symbol. The slope ratio is 1 is to 500. Means, for every meter length, the pipe is 2 millimeters lower than the other end. During the fabrication, you need to maintain the degree of the elbow according to this slope. See the locations of the supports. During the fabrication, the pad plates may be welded on the pipe. Here, the distance to the pad plate is given from the end of the pipe. 
Do not consider the extra length when you fit up the pad plates. The line rotates 45 degree here. The horizontal hatch lines indicates the line rotates horizontally. Let us check the directions of the piping. You can learn how to make a wire representation of this piping. Assume that you are facing to the north. Hold the wire horizontally to the east west direction. Bend the wire 90 degree to the north. Bend the wire 90 degree to the down direction. Bend the wire 90 degree to the north. Bend the wire 45 degree to the northwest. Bend the wire 45 degree to the north. Here you can see the T, weld neck flange and then the blind flange. The branch of the T is to the down direction. If you want this drawing, you can download it for free of cost. The link is given in the description. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment.